my brand new find. It's called What's the Time Wilfred Run? Brilliant actually for EYFS and brilliant for year one. And it's all about this character Wilfred. There he is there, Wilfred the Wolf. And he can't tell the time. Who can tell the time? That is a brilliant first question. Now the thing about him is, is that he has to go to a party at three o'clock, but he, he doesn't know how to tell the time. So he goes through different scenarios and it's really good because um, it, it looks at all clock. Now the thing is, it's got massive maths in it and the making maths magic, the brilliance about it, even though I wrote it with Gary Wright, is that um, it has the steps that you need in number, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, fractions and shape, space and measure. So in shape, space and measure, I went to, when I was looking at this book, I thought, okay, I need to look at my time objectives. So what I've done in the free planning that goes with this um, when you buy the book off my website is I have put in the time steps that it would take you to get a two-year-old right through to a secure level one. And what I've done is I've done loads of fabulous ideas with that. And there's going to be a brilliant math song that you will be singing away to once you've heard it. Um, the other thing is when I get a book, any book, tra traditional tales, space, uh, pirates, whatever one of my themes are, then what I do is I look for the seven areas within the book and I do my planning. So when you get the planning, you'll get great joy because you'll have a, a week's worth of activities, if not in some cases, I think some of my planning goes two weeks. So here's some ideas. Now, the first one is to do with phonics and sounds and we're not a bit saturated with that yes we are Jeanette but let's let's excite it up excite what you do up by using things like this this book has so many amazing words in it for sounds cuckoo cuckoo it's also got pioing splat smash wow it's got yoo-hoo and also there is an owl that tries to help Wilfred to wit to woo to wit to woo but the thing about owls, three o'clock is three o'clock in the morning. So there's all that understanding of the world. There's all that nocturnal animal. Three o'clock in the morning. Your conversation got boring. Oh, not that one. So what else would I do? I would definitely have a loose part section. Build your own clock. Because clocks now come in all shapes and forms. And also I saw a brilliant design on eBay of a clock that had numbers, but it also had the number words in, in the clock as well. And I thought that would be brilliant to extend your more able into number words. Also, it's got watches, so it's got digital and how to look at digital in comparison to the old clock. I personally love O'Clock because I remember when you could get stampers, but I looked on eBay and I, and I could only get a tiny clock stamper, so I was a bit disappointed. But what about in your Play-Doh? Instead of getting children to do the same old, same old, make a clock, do, 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 do the hands with the split pin, why not get your Play-Doh area, get Play-Doh, magnetic numbers and lollipop sticks, you could even do video animation of clocks ticking round and things happening. You could make an amazing um, I movie with that. The other thing that I like to do is one of the first sequencing things that you need to do for a child of a young age is sequencing through food because what time is your breakfast, what time is your lunch, what time is your tea or dinner if you're down south. Sometimes when you're in another country you might eat later than other people. You might eat really early. I know there's a lot of my Dubai schools start about seven o'clock in the morning and then they have to have a snack through through their sessions. So munching Monday is all about what time do you eat your food? Because in this book, Wilfred Wolf, look at him there on my small world. Oh, 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 Wilfred, he eats whenever he feels like it. Whenever his little tummy rumbles, he eats. And, you know... The thing about that is it's regulation and routine. So we've got loads to talk about in terms of, of that in this book. Tuesday, time out Tuesday. Getting parents um, on board with this time as well is actually having some technology time out. Time out in the home, time to do something together. Go and be physical, do some clapping games, go for a walk, um, have a play a board game. Um, and, you know, those kind of things are missing very much, aren't they? So parents can really come on board with this. Wednesday, why not do watch the clock Wednesday? Oh, at least we're not in an office watching the clock. But where every hour on the hour, 
blow a vuvuzela, uh, blow a, a piece of music, you know, do something exciting every hour on the hour. Woo woo! You could even have you are the class cock, you are the cuckoos of the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo, or make a noise for your uh, clock. I think I got a bit excited about that. Thinking Thursday from a tiny tweeties days of the week song. Thinking Thursday. What are you thinking about time? What? When? When was your best memory? What can you? Can you? How far back can you remember? That's a great question to ask some a young child, isn't it? Um, and Friday, and this is a big one. It's freak out Friday, freak out Friday. So every hour on the hour, you could freak out. Do, 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 do. Disco, disco, you know I love a disco. You could do something every hour on the hour on the Friday that freaks out. So just some freestyle dancing, maybe strutting some moves, I don't know. You choose on your Freak Out Friday, but please, please take pictures, send in videos, don't forget, and all the best ones we'll put together and put up on the YouTube channel. Um, my favourite one before I sing you the song is a literacy activity that I thought of to go with this book. So I was thinking about time and the concept of time for children. And one of my favourite movies is Back to the Future. So I thought I could get a giant cardboard box, cut a hole in, put a play tunnel in to get in and to get out. Maybe there's a blanket over the top to make it a bit darker or a piece of material. And inside, I would build myself a little cardboard dashboard and I would have a clock in the dashboard that showed up all clocks. So I would, it's very tricky for children to go backwards because um, we want to go forward. So my time machine might go forward, so it might go, three o'clock, what happens at three o'clock? So some children will be like, oh, we go home at three o'clock. So we could, we could get out the time machine, we could have an adventure, go, oh, look, everybody's going home, there's the parents. And then we could fast forward, it could be five o'clock, what are you doing at five o'clock? I always used to say um, to my class years ago that, uh, children had to be in bed when the CBeebies uh, sang their bedtime song because I, uh, one of the big things of routine is getting into bed and making sure children have enough sleep at night. How exciting would a time machine be in your classroom? And all it is is a box in a play tunnel. Everybody's got one of them. Now, to finish off, I'm going to finish off with my song. Oh, McDonald's had a clock! <laughs> You thought he just had a farm, but he had loads of animals, and you could probably name five animals, but actually, Old MacDonald has a clock, and here's the song. Old MacDonald had a clock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, and when the clock struck one, the tomato plants needed a song. Tick tock, tick tock, tick, with a la la here and a la la there, here a la, there a la. Everywhere a la la. When the clock struck one, the tomato man plants needed a song. Tick tock, tick tock, tick. <laughs> and the whole song goes through. When it's two, it's time to clean out the horse's poo with a whiff whiff here and a whiff whiff there. We all know what it's like digging out those stables. At three o'clock, the farmer has of course, it's time for tea. So he has a nice cup of tea with a whistle stir, whistle stir, brew. And one for the Tetley Tea Company, maybe. And four o'clock, um, he, at four, he has to fix the barn door with a hammer, hammer bang, hammer bang twist. And at five, he has to check his beehives. Ooh, ouch, when the bee stings him. If you want this song, it's on my website with the book and the free planning download. I think it's a super song. I hope to see videos and photos of you singing it with your children very soon and teaching everyone how to tell a time. Time to say bye-bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe. More videos, more webinars coming. And don't forget the online Spread the Happiness webinar package that has a special introductory offer that's something you might like to email us about. Hope to see you soon. Bye.